from Apple's health kit and watch to Fitbit Big Tech, betting on wearable health tech. Our next guest is a former Googler turned med tech CEO. Vic Gondotra is the CEO of the Live Corps, which makes FDA cleared devices for cardiac health care. Vic, uh, great to have you. Want to talk about this Mayo Clinic partnership that you got. But before that, Google is out uh, with this new feed. And of course, you're a veteran of Google. They're saying everything's about artificial intelligence now. What's your take? What's this new Google feed really all about? Well, good morning, John. Thank you for having me on again. Uh, you know, the new Google feed looks pretty exciting. Um, I use Google now very regularly. I'd say it's my second uh, favorite way to get news after Facebook. And so Google's using artificial intelligence to look at many signals they get from your browsing history, from your Gmail, and then picking out interests that they think you'll like to read. So I think it's a very interesting development, one I'm going to look forward to watching closely. Now you're in a different business now with a live core. I've tried out uh, your product. You can get an EKG at home through your uh, smartphone. You're tied up with Cardia and now with Mayo Clinic. And what's interesting to me about this is the vision is that people are going to be able to detect health problems before they become obvious based on the information they can feed in at home at artificial intelligence. How does that work? That's exactly right. So, John, today, as you know, we sell a small device on our website and on Amazon that can detect the most common heart arrhythmia called atrial fibrillation. And it's extraordinary because, as you point out, you couldn't do this at home before we had our device. What's brand new, what we've announced with Mayo Clinic today, is extraordinary. We're going beyond atrial fibrillation, and we're now trying to detect a condition that kills thousands of children a year. You, you may have heard of these stories where a kid goes to school, is on the playing, playground, and then suddenly dies. Three to 4,000 children die a year because of genetical, genetic long QT syndrome. And working in partnership with the Mayo Clinic, we're using artificial intelligence to be able to pick up that mutation. And our dream is that once we get FDA approval, that we will one day have an a inexpensive, non-invasive device that a coach or a parent could use to save these children's lives. That's an extraordinary use of AI. We think that's AI that matters. Vic, I can be a little bit of a, a gadget hypochondriac, so I actually have the Cardia um, you know, blood pressure monitor, and I also, after the last time you were on, went ahead and bought uh, your device as well. But I find, I mean, most of the time, thankfully, when I well, all the time, when I strap these things on and take my readings, it says I'm fine. How often are people going to need to be using these things and perhaps getting a series of your okay readings for them to get the benefit from this? Are people going to use them the right way? John, I'm glad to hear you're in good health. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> one out of every four Americans is gonna be diagnosed with atrial fibrillation. Heart disease is the number one killer in the world. More women have died than men, and it kills more people than all forms of cancer combined. And today, sadly, atrial fibrillation goes about 1.7 years before it's diagnosed. Do you know why? It's because you get one or two ECGs a year. And so if you want to take charge of your own health and you want to lower the risk, I would argue that you should have a device like this in your purse or your wallet and at home um, and help your doctor be a better doctor. Or you can just become, uh, sadly, like many other Americans, who discover they have heart disease after a very bad event. So if you want to be proactive, take charge of your health, get a device like this, and check your heart regularly. Well, you know, I'm trying. There's my last reading. Pretty boring, which is a good thing. Uh, Vic, thanks. Uh, really interesting what you guys are doing with the Mayo Clinic. Oh, Thank not you, Joe. Boring, not like flat line boring. Not that would boring. be. No, like we don't want. Yeah. Regular blip. Steady. Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, as we head to break, we're watching the markets hit fresh record intraday highs.